Hey y'all. So today I'm going to demo using satellite config to actually push a application out across two geographically distributed locations and clusters and show how with just a few clicks, we can actually do a global rollout and set up and expose an application within the appropriate networks um, for our users to actually consume. So let's look at the details here. Um, we're gonna start with two locations, one in Toronto that's actually in um, a cloud VPC environment and then one that's in a VMware environment in Dallas. And what we're going to do is define our application as a configuration and we'll do direct upload in this demo and we'll call it um, Tyler app one and we'll go ahead and store it in Toronto one of the regions and what we will do is give it a version name um, v1 and now we will go and actually add in the um, definition of the application so we'll add in the definition and what that will ultimately be is just a basic um, HA proxy deployment that will have a um, URL that we can hit that will send back a 200. And with that, we'll click next and then we'll n um, note the description um, global cluster rollout and we will assign that to our two clusters that we have and um click next and then go to create and now we should see the application begin to roll out across the cluster so let's check um we'll see the pods there and then let's see the pods here. Awesome, so we see the pods here as well. And lastly, what we can do is show how the routes are actually automatically set up as well. So what we will do is, let's grab one of these out of here and um, we'll do, sure I get that right awesome so we see the one application here in um, the VMware based cluster and now let's look at the um, application also exposed in the um, cloud based cluster as well bingo so we've now actually just seen that we've rolled out an application across two geographically distributed um, environments um, and automatically exposed that, had that ready for consumption with our configuration. Now what I wanna actually do is now let's simulate rolling an update to that application um, as well. So what we're gonna do now is actually create a new version. Um, we'll call it V2. And now what we're going to do is create a update to the application where we're actually just going to change the URL um, that returns the 200 response. So it'll go from slash to um, slash monitor. So let's um, create that version. And then what we're going to do is actually update our subscription to be the new version number and then we're going to click save and now we're actually going to roll that update across both clusters as well so let's look at that so we're going to see the pods are starting to roll out um across both environments and we'll give that time to happen and then um what we should see is the application will be exposed on its new route so um let's just give that a sec for that rollout to complete
awesome. Looks good there. And then Awesome. So now we had both roll out and now let's again look at um, the two responses here. So we're going to see if actually we hit the slash. It's going to give a 503 because that's not there. But if we go to slash monitor, now we see that the application update actually rolled out. And now let's also do um, the VMware cluster as well. So we'll go and get that route again. And we will do the same thing there. So we'll do HTTPS slash because the 503. And then we go to monitor. And then boom, we're done. So this just goes to show some of the power that um, satellite config can provide to, you know, really revolutionize the way um, application, you know, rollouts and um, updates are performed. So just thank you so much for your time and hope you have a wonderful day.